Hello. Here's what's happening on Monday.1. U.S. President Donald Trump has renewed his travel ban on African and Middle Eastern countries, adding several new nations to the list. While the existing ones were mostly Muslim-majority nations, people from North Korea, Iran, Chad, Libya, Syria, Venezuela, Yemen and Somalia have also been banned from traveling to the U.S. Point two. Meanwhile, the president went to war with the NFL over the U.S. national anthem, but says it's not about race. Trump responded to the backlash after he attacked NFL players in a tweet saying anyone showing disrespect to the U.S. flag should be fired. Nearly two dozen teams responded with players kneeling or raising their arms in protest during the anthem.3. Chancellor Angela Merkel has won a fourth term in Germany's election, but the result wasn't strong. It was the worst result for her conservative bloc since 1949, at 32.5% of the vote, while the government's junior coalition partner, the center-left Social Democrats SPD, also slumped to a new post-war low of 20% and ruled out forming government again. Meanwhile, the far-right alternative for Germany finished third and enters parliament with 13.5% of the vote. For Uber's ban in London is a reminder that the company's business model is based on regulatory arbitrage. The ride-sharing app arrives, breaks the law, then hopes its popularity will make governments cave so it can operate legally. After the ban, Uber launched an online petition of support, with more than 630,000 signatures, and says it will challenge the decision in court.6. UK Brexit Secretary David Davis returns to Brussels today for a fourth round of talks with chief EU negotiator Michel Barnier. Prime Minister Theresa May's speech in Florence three days earlier hinted at concessions from the UK side offering to pay tens of billions of pounds to the EU for years after Brexit. But Barnier said he wants to see what's on the table before EU leaders will open any talks on free trade, a cooperation deal and the two-year transition.7. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is expected to call a snap election at today at 7 p.m. Est, 10 a.m. GMT. Abe's approval rating is now at 50% up from around 30% in July, and a weekend survey found 44% of voters back Tabe's Liberal Democratic Party, ahead of just 8% for the opposition Democratic Party.8. Shares in Chinese property developers are being hammered due to tougher housing market restrictions. Second-tier cities announced the restrictions, including banning home sales within two to three years after purchase and since March, more than 40 cities have introduced similar bans.9. Jared Kushner, Trump's senior advisor and son-in-law, used a private email address to discuss government business with administration officials. He reportedly discussed media coverage, event planning and other business. The revelations will no doubt amuse Hillary Clinton, lambasted by Trump during the election for using a private email server when she was Secretary of State. Point one zero. More than 35,000 people have been evacuated from around a volcano that could erupt at any moment on the Indonesian tourist island of Bali. Hundreds of tremors have been recorded in recent days, and an, an exclusion zone has been set up 9 to 12 kilometers from the 3,000-meter-high volcano, which last erupted in 1963. And finally, Australia is entering the space race becoming the second-last OECD country to have its own space agency. Read more at https colon slash slash www.businessinsider.com. O slash the 10 most important things in the world right now v 17 2017 9 number 4 at help easter clag fade i.99 read the original article on Business Insider Australia. Copyright 2017. Follow Business Insider Australian on Twitter. More from Business Insider Australia The best outfits from the 2017 Brownlow Medal Australian Stocks Stall. Here's what you need to know The 10 most important things in the world right now report. Shinzo Abe is about to call a snap election in Japan. Malcolm Turnbull says Australia's gas shortage is three times worse than anyone thought, but won't block exports just yet. 